These two displacer type transmitters have the same measurement range of 813 millimeters or 32 inch, have the same electronic part, the same torsion tube, the same mechanism which supports the torsion tube housing and the same filling chamber. Both seem to be the same but are not. The left instrument is the instrument with the standard displacer which has nominal volume of 907 cubic centimeters, has a nominal weight about 1,360 grams, and can measure liquids with specific gravity up to 1.4, not much greater, because with greater specific gravity, it does not get weight changes, is floating. This displacer when the chamber fill with water, reduce its weight force on the torsion tube by 907 grams and ensures a sufficient rotation of the magnets to the fixed sensor for accurate measurements and reliable control. But an interface operation, where the instrument measures the weight difference caused by the buoyancy of the two liquids, the heavier and the lighter, that is, when the same instrument measures interface of two liquid, gasoline 0.72 and water 1, the difference of the two liquids buoyancy drops to 0.28 or 28% of the water buoyancy. As the two specific gravity of the two liquids get close, their difference decreases as in the measurement of 0.9 oil and water 1. The difference of the buoyancy force falls to about 90 grams. 90 grams are not enough and restricts the magnet's rotation too much. Such a change is not sufficient for a reliable measurement. Let's look at the change of specific gravity overall in the operation of the instrument with a displacer. We will open the graphic calculator Desmos as described in video density change of the measuring fluid during operation part one, where we have expressed the specific gravity in percentage to be symmetric the graph and to see the change in specific gravity from water one up to 0.72 gasoline. We see that we get the same indication 100% but with a lower change in the buoyancy. And now, we will reduce the specific gravity of gasoline to LPG, and we have the same indication, but with an even smaller change in the buoyancy. Let's go back into the water again and see the graph of the change of interface where the displacer buoyancy is changed from buoyancy, with the lighter up to buoyancy with the heavier that in our case, the heavier is water. We will put 0.5 the lighter, and we see that the change is reduced, and then we will put gasoline 0.72, where we see that the difference is reduced more to 0.28. Such gasoline water applications are very common in the refineries. The change in the weight of the displacer from gasoline up to water, it is only 0.28 times 907, which is equal to 254 respectively cubic centimeters of water displacement corresponding to approximately 254 grams. The instrument does not read enough intermediate values, but remains marginally reliable, and this is the case in both types of instruments, differential pressure and displacer type, as we reduce the span. The intermediate values are reduced. Its indication is essentially changed with steps and not linear. A change of 250 grams to the displacer weight is a poor input signal for the instrument sensor. What happens when the change drops even more at 0.1? Things are getting more difficult. The instrument does not change its indications with steps now, but make jumps. From 5% can be found in 8%. And this is because the input signal, that in this case is the up and down motion of the displacer, has multiplied many times to get the same 100% indications. Here is the solution proposed by Massanilin and is a more volume and weight displacer, and this will provide us more grams of buoyancy for accurate measurement. Standard displacers referred to as SDD have volume, plus or minus 907 cubic centimeters, depending on the specific gravity that it is about to measure and weight, plus or minus. 1,360 grams 3 libs and the special displacer like the one shown is referred to as SPL and have weight and volume which calculated for each application specifically. For example, the DeSalter interface special displacer has a volume of 7,586 cubic centimeters 
in an internal mounting designed by Hal Baker Engineers. Masonalen's SDD displacers and complete instruments ordered for a particular installation are exactly in volume and weight needed to fit the red mark of the mid-range of the measurement range, and this exists for both the standard and for the spe special. The extra weight of the special displacer cannot be suspended by the torsion tube and stops its motion towards down on the internal stud of the chamber mechanism. For this reason special displacers, they should not be suspended outside the chamber mechanism because they will over-torque the torsion tube. 